happy holidays, Merry Christmas, all, oh yeah, all the other stuff. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to the Miss Francois Show, the relationship-focused talk show with a comedic twist. Every episode is great in its own way, because <laughs> I'm in it and I'm the host. Today, I'm starting off with our guest comedian. He goes by the name of Lawrence Covington. Mm, that sounds so sexy. That could be my last name. <laughs> he was recently in the Harlem and Coney Island Comedy Festival. He has starred in such movies as Safe, starring Jason Statham. I can never pronounce people's last name. You all should know that. The sexy guy that does all that fighting stuff. And The Cobbler, starring Adam Sandler. And today, he's on the Miss Francois show. Lawrence Covington, make us laugh. Thank you, Miss Francois. Um, it's winter time, so it's cuffing season. So cuffing season, that's if you ain't got nobody you booed up with, it's time to get somebody. Um, and I'm single, so so. <laughs> My, my my homegirl Monique, she always tries to hook me up with, with girls out of job. So she had this one girl, her name was Marianne. So I'm like, Marianne? What is she white? She's like, yeah. I'm like, ah You know what? After reading the book The Crucible, seeing the movie Get Out, you know, and that cop that shot the brother with the ice cream in his drawers. So I'm gonna have to pass on the white girls. <laughs> had to pass on that one. So she had another friend, right? And um, her friend, was, the next girl she had, she was like, I got another homegirl name is Maddie Bell. I said, Maddie Bell? What, is she Latina? She was like, yeah. I was like, ah! You know what? I love my Latinas. And people think I'm Muslim because of my beard, but I'm not. I just try to stay away from pork. And I noticed that all Latinas flavor they food with pork, right? That's why you never met no Latino Muslims, right? You ain't never met Mohammed De La Puenta. You ain't never met that dude. You ain't never met Enrique Abdul-Jabbar. You ain't never met that dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so said I had to pass on the Latinas. So then she, had, she, had, she said, all right, I got one more for you. I'm like, what's her name? She's like, Sim Lee. I'm like, Sim Lee? She's like, yeah. I'm like, what is she, Chinese? She's like, yeah. I'm like, ah! <sighs> you know what? I love my Asian sisters, but they don't have enough attitude. I like a woman with attitude, right? And the Asian sisters don't have enough attitude, man. That's why they ain't got no TV show, right? You ain't never going to turn on your TV show and see Housewives of Chinatown. You ain't, you ain't going to see that show, right? Because ain't going to be no drama on the show. Too nice. They going to be like, you slept with my baby daddy. I slept with your baby daddy? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Gonna be no drama on that show. That's it. But uh, <laughs> let me see. So I, I you know, I, I like, I like, I guess the sisters. I, I'm trying to. If I get in a relationship, it got to be like my, my grandmother, my grandpops. They was married for about 50 years, right? Then he he passed away. Um, he passed away in his sleep. And I always hear people say they want to pass away in their sleep. Anybody want to pass away in their sleep? Yeah, cause it's painless. They say, nah. You know what I say? I agree with everybody who say, yeah. You know, I'd rather pass away in my sleep like my grandfather did instead of yelling and screaming like all of the passengers in this car. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Wake your ass up. So, <laughs> but my grandma, you know what's cool? As they got older, they would uh, tell, she would tell me stuff about my grandfather. She was like, like, you know, your grandfather used to steal when I met him. He used to steal a lot. So I was like, yo, get out of here. So I asked him, I was like, your grandpa's used to steal? He was like, <laughs> your grandmother's lying. I ain't steal like that. I'm like, yo. You serious? He like, yeah. I only stole things that began with the letter A. So I'm sitting there like, what, begun, what, what, what starts with the letter A? He's like, a watch, a car, a stereo. <laughs> so I was like, oh man, I, grandpa's was a kleptomaniac up in this joint. Um, so, you know, that, that, that's pretty much it, it on a dating, you know. Um, and then I, I got to find a girl who like cats, because I had a cat, man, when my cat died. Um, and, you know, I was really sad. Before he died, I, you know, I took him to the vet, because I, you know, I really I had him for 14 years, so I was, I was really sad. Let me have some hope. So I take him to the vet, and the vet goes, oh, he looks very bad. 
but there's a slight chance he might make it a slight chance. I'm like, yeah, I get real happy. I'm like, yeah? He's like, yes, but it's going to cost you between $1,300 and $1,400. I go, Sh-. Well, he ain't got a chance then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, because th- 1300 ain't cat life money. You know what I'm saying? That's grandma hip replacement surgery money, man. And my grandma had a bad hip, too. She got, she got a bad hip. You know, she raised us on a lot of nap time and a lot of slap time. You know what I'm saying? And she, she said, when, she, when I was all down in the press, she ain't had no sympathy for me, man. She ain't had no sympathy. She was like, baby, you know, I ain't really with the animals, but it was said that a happy woman, and, and I was a happy woman, a happy woman had four animals in her life. I'm like, yeah, four animals? She's like, yeah. A mink on her back, a jaguar in the garage, a tiger in the bed, and a silly ass to buy it all for her. <laughs> R.I.P. to your grandfather. R.I.P. to your grandfather. That's my time, y'all. That's my time. Thank you, Mr. Lawrence Covington. And he is fine. Oh, well, he was funny also, but he was fine. So let's begin today's segment. It's called What Women Want, because most of them have no clue what they want. Today, I have three different women from three different backgrounds. Yes, I pronounced three incorrectly. I'm Trinidadian. (laughs) (laughs) So before I had three men, at some point in time, I'm going to have three men on the show, but today it's going to be women. First up, we have the lovely Nadine Cosborn. (laughs) She is the CEO of Keep it tidy, clean. Oh, so she's a woman she could clean. She's, ooh. You all better look her up. Make sure you follow her on Instagram. She ain't got no man right now. <laughs> Second up, we have Amel. She has one of them, Amel Tonya. Yeah, she black. They're, them kind of names that you, they don't understand, but we're going to call her Amel. Right? She's beautiful. She's young. Basically, she ain't going to have enough to tell me about anything because she hasn't enjoyed life at all. So she has no real experience. But we'll see what she has to say today. She's an administrative <laughs> assistant. And she does for some big company. She's a stylist also. She, I think she was just telling me that because she feels really good about herself. But last but not least, we have Sandra Padilla. I don't, what kind, I don't know where I find these people from with these kind of names. <laughs> She is an electronic medical record trainer. This is a good woman. She have a job. You hear that title? And she don't have no man. So if you need anything with medical or any kind of training, she's your person. She has worked in healthcare for over 15 years in various roles. Hello, everyone. Hi. So to make sure the audience knows everyone, Sandra, say hi. hi. Then we have Miss Nadine. And we have the one we call Amel. Hi. Okay, so I ain't got no time for all of that. So, you're 26, Amel. Yes. You're in your 30s, Miss Sandra. Yes. And you're about to hit some figures. Yes. You're about to hit some... She 30. Okay. <laughs> She's trying to sneak it in there, but she 30. So, first question. So, I had, at some point in time, I'm going to have men on the show. So, one of the things I like to ask is, you as a woman, how often do you think a man should ask you for sex, Nadine? Well, they don't have to ask you because I know they're already thinking it in their mind. So I'm just like, <clears throat> take it. Okay, so she will freely give it. <laughs> <laughs> so Sandra, yes. why Nadine is just giving up puny? <laughs> you, how how often do you think you should your man should get sex? Because some men is like every day. No, not not every day. I like to be missed a little, because then it keeps it a little interesting. So, four times a week. Four times a week. Yeah, four mm. times a week. Sandra, quicker find, well, quicker <laughs> find a man than Sandra, but I respect that, Sandra. Mel, who is only 26 and have no experience, how often should you be having sex with your man? Very often. Um, three These times a week. horny young people, they're horny. Um, <laughs> few times a day, you know, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) The one guy in the audience say, yeah. (laughs) See? 
I thought she had a job. Obviously, she don't want to be working, <laughs> right? She's busy. Yeah. So one of the things is they say how men cheat, women cheat also. But the issue might be that men get caught and women don't get caught. So to you, Miss Sandra, why do you think women even cheat in the first place? I think they cheat if the man is not doing what he's supposed to. And not only in bed, but emotionally. If you're not being attentive, if you're not being present, if you're not really caring for me, then... So for you, it's the, the emotional connection. He has to yes. get up in the morning, look at you. You're the most beautiful woman. Yes. Yeah, you're going to be cheating. Right. So, uh, Amel. <laughs> so let me twist that question. So all the times that you have cheated on your man, right? Is it true is because he never... <laughs> Did he just never find out? That's why you got away with it? Yes, that's exactly why. You know, because we're sneaky. Wow. Us women, we're, we're just, we know how to cover our tracks in certain things. Like, you know, we won't do, like, if a guy cheats, we can find out by, you know, we're lurkers. We're, like, in private investigators. So, for me, I, men won't find out how I cheat because, it's like, you know, I cover my tracks. Wow. So, yeah, women wow. cheat because... No, I respect her. She's already experienced. <laughs> so, Nadine, mm -hmm. why the hell were you cheating? <laughs> plead the fifth, girl. Just plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. You plead the fifth. But men, women do tend to, you think women do get away with cheating I'm more like, than men? If you don't ask, like, why would you say anything? The guy or you, if yeah, they ask you? you can't ask me, like... Look me in the eye. Nadine, nothing. you have this tendency that you're not looking <laughs> me in the eye. I'm nothing. I'm 100. I keep it truthful. So I'm just like, you're not going to find me cheating. You're not going to find me. Oh, she a cheater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So a lot of time when men see a woman, certain things come to mind. So a man, when you see a man, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Money. Money. Wow. Oh, girl. She is experienced. Girl. <laughs> Miss Nadine, for you, what's the first thing you see when you, you see a man? I'm sorry, but I see their chocolate skin, so... Chocolate skin? Yep. Sandra, Sandra, I know Sandra, like, Sandra, Sandra, you like white chocolate or, or dark chocolate? I like all flavors. Ah. I don't discriminate, so... <laughs> <laughs> so what's the first thing you see when you see a man? I love their smile. I think that's sexy. So all these women here are lying because when a woman <laughs> see a man, they say, okay, I wonder if he, what kind of house we're going to be living in, the picket fence, how much or kids we're going to have. Or the size. Oh, or the size. I know Sandra was a freak. <laughs> <laughs> so generally, what, just say, what is the first top two things, Sandra, you, th you look for in a mate? Hmm. Uh, he needs to be intelligent and he needs to be stable. Intelligent and stable. Yes. So you need to be able to ride horses or, <laughs> <laughs> or stable as in here. Emotionally stable, emotionally okay, healthy. I, I don't know, I know horses stable, you know, man. Yes. I don't know. So Nady, what's the first up thing? Because you look like you have a list. I mean everybody has a list, but at the same time. Nadine, honey, look look at me. <laughs> <laughs> you see that you see how amazing I look? You are not my type. So you have no problem. So look at me when you answer the question, honey. Go ahead. What is up to So thing? basically, I, you have to have a great conversation, first of all. And you have to have a, some type of depth about, depth about you. You know what I mean? So it's just like the conversation has to go somewhere. And after that, I'll get to know who you are. I don't need what you have because I have what I have already. So far, <laughs> I, see her, I see her getting a man, and she's definitely getting many men. You ain't getting nothing. Ain't no man trying to hear no conversa conversation. <laughs> it, I mean, if you don't have conversation, you don't have sense. You so. ready to give a pony every second of the day. What conversation are you going to want to have with you? You don't have to have conversation if you got oh, me. Oh, hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mel, what is the top two things, honey? Because me and you are about to be friends. Um, looks. Yes. And money. <laughs> See? This, this girl is about to be a superstar. <laughs> so, next question. A lot, of, <laughs> a lot of men these days say, okay, women are, you, well, you women, I'm independent. You're a CEO of a cleaning company. You all are doing the thing or whatever the case might be. Some people say, oh, I don't need a man because I could do it all. Right? So, do you all think men have an issue with that, Nadine? Because you have your own company. Some men, they ain't even got a job. 
A lot of people like when you come with something already. So it's just like if you are a CEO or if you have a job, that's great for them because they don't have to take care of you. So a lot of men these days do not want to take care of you. They just want Amen. to add to you. So need to repeat the question. Again. So Sandra, basically, yes. uh, do you think that men are intimidated when you have everything going for you? <clears throat> yes, and they annoy the out of me. And you know why? Because yes, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why. They want a woman who's strong and independent, mm -hmm. but who also is a little needy, so that they can feel their egos, their man. They can help them. They can mm -hmm. assist them doing things, right? But then. It's like, you got to pick a choose, guys. Pick a choose. You want a strong, independent woman, or you want one that's needed so that you can feel like a real man? Woo! Mm. Woo! Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This is coming from the one with the longest relationship, which is 10 years. It feels, no, wait. Longest relationship, seven years, but it feels like two, right? Oh, damn. But I love that answer. You see when you've been through. ex-husband. But, but you see when you've been through stuff, how the answers that she gave, she's been through stuff. That's why Mel hears stories like this, and she just want money. You see, you see? money. We don't want no conversation, no. baby. I'm with you in the conversation. Okay, Steve Harvey says that men should be able to protect, provide, and profess. Basically, they need to protect their woman, provide for their woman, and be able to say that they love you and introduce you to all their family, friends, and so forth and so on. Do you believe that's true? Every man should be able to protect, provide, and profess? Mel. Yeah, I agree 100%. You see, all she heard was provide. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say, Nadine? In my, oh, okay. What do you say, Nadine? I say yes. Y yes? Yes, I say yes. Jesus. I say yes. Okay. <laughs> You all feel free to look up Mel, feel free to look up Sandra. Nadine gonna need a few more times before she could have a man in her life because she confused. Okay. I'm like, provide so, a professor. So Sandra, do you agree? Yes. She, Mel answer with confidence, yes. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I, I, I want that. I mean, I want to add, but you know. Yeah, because because you want too much conversation. <laughs> Sandra? Yes. Yes. yes, I like to right? be protected, yes. You want some man to say, I love you and introduce yes. you. Mm -hmm. And the reason I always pose that is these men, th these women these mm -hmm. days don't realize that's what they're supposed to be looking for. So Steve Harvey said, mm -hmm. provide, protect, and profess. Otherwise, keep it moving. <laughs> with yes. that said, we're going to take a short break. I'm going to come back with uh, my amazing ladies. I'm going to have a talk with Nadine. And she'll look <laughs> me in the eye when we return. Come on back. Sure, I look cute now, but when my owner lost his job, it was rough. I was living on the street, and one night, me and this cocker spaniel got into it so bad, I wound up looking like an ice cream cone. I cried a little bit, but thankfully I got rescued, so I'm running, I'm jumping, all back to my old self, and I'm ready to give unconditional love, even if you put a lampshade on my head. Hamilton was adopted from a rescue in 2008. She really likes to be around people. And as soon as I start to make my breakfast, Hamilton is right there. I get out my mat and I'm doing a downward dog and he's underneath. He's quite the pug about town. He gets invited to a lot of parties. He knows he's a pretty big deal. I mean, look at this little face. How do you not love him? Welcome back to the Miss Francois Show. This is a hol our holiday segment. I hope you all pay attention to my set. I have a nice, beautiful set here, which was done by my wonderful executive assistant, Lila Marrero. Thank you, honey. <laughs> With that said, today we have a very interesting episode. It's very interesting. I have to, oh my Lord. I like asking questions, and I have three lovely ladies with me here. We're sitting, we're having a little discussion about what women want. Some of them on this panel not sure what they want. So, Nadine, the next question is to you. <laughs> Do you think a man should always make more money than you? I don't think that, because at the end of the day, we live in America. So, 
a lot of people making thirty thousand, some people making fifty thousand, some people making a hundred thousand. So it all depends on what he's gonna add. Can you fix my toilet? Can you fix my sink? Like, what do you? What else are you doing for me? Okay. Other than making all this money. It sounds like this person going to be working with your company. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's, let's work together. Why not? <laughs> keep it tidy. To keep it tidy, right? That's the name of the company. Yes. Keep it tidy. Yeah. Clean? Yes. Okay. So in case you can fix toilet, do electrician, this is the woman for you. Nadine? <laughs> okay. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Mel, how do you feel about this? Would you rather the man make more money than you? Um, yeah, because I want him to provide for me. So Exactly. Um, You're yeah, a beautiful I, woman. I, he wants I you to... I need expensive things. Thank so you. I don't want to spend my money on it. So it's Yeah, they want a lady yeah. in the streets and a freak in the bed. Yeah. So well, you got to do what Mel wants. Yes. Money, 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 money. Oh okay. <laughs> right? Sandra, honey. Mm -hmm. I'm going to change it up. When in a relationship you think it's okay to ask a man for money? Hmm. That's a little tricky for me because I feel like if a man gives me money, I feel that now I owe you or I have to explain myself to you, and I don't like to do that. So maybe we're a little more serious. Maybe we're living together. Okay. Yeah. You see, that's an overly independent woman. So... Just so you know, man, I will be asking for money in the first week, okay, because I want to see your reaction. Maybe I don't need the money. I'm testing you. Well, I want to mm -hmm. see if you're going to give me the money. Maybe I can't afford to pay my rent. I want to, I want to say that too, but I, I also feel if he wants to, I shouldn't be, I, I shouldn't ask for it. You should be the one to give it to me. Exactly. So it shouldn't mm -hmm. be just coming. Wait, hold on one second. Ask. Nadine said something. Sorry. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, why would I have to ask? Like you, yeah. you, you give me that money, right? That's it. That, uh, you my man. You're, you're fighting your way back through. You're fighting your way. Good, <laughs> good job, Nadine. And she looked me in the eye when she answered. Okay, so you, you have no issues. So Mel, you, you have any issues asking a man for money? Hell no, no girl. No. <laughs> you said I need my hair done, my nails did. Okay. I, I want the money. Yeah. I love, I love. <laughs> okay, why do I see this a lot. Why do it always seems like women tend to forget, give a man for cheating or infidelity and take him back 10 times easier than it is when a man... Mm. Than a, when, oh, oh, Nadine, you want to answer this question. <laughs> Why did you keep taking him back? I don't. You don't, so you You're don't done. take him back. You don't get a second chance. I mean, people make mistakes. That's cute. That's cute. But, but say that for somebody else, not okay, me. Okay, so you, first time, that's it. No second chances. You keep on giving them second chances, there'll be a third, mm -hmm. hundred, ten. Uh, not for me. Say that for somebody else. Thank you. Sandra, you're giving second chances, honey. Be a little kinder, because she mean. <laughs> it depends, right? Okay. It depends. If you're married and there's kids, you might have to give a second chance if right. you need to work for it, right? <laughs> I'm not doing that. I heard it up, but... Listen, but, there's right. a, listen, there's a, listen, <laughs> let's be very real. There's a lot of investment, right? You've mm -hmm. been spending years together. There's money invested. There's feelings invested. So we're going to work it out a little bit because you're not going to take this man away from me or whatever it is. We're going to try to work it out once. Now, if it's just like a relationship mm -hmm. that we're just like dating or boyfriend and girlfriend type of thing, you're out the door. No. We're not going to waste time here. Like, just, I, just, I, that's I, it. That's it. That's Woo! it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mel, does it matter to you how a man dressed? Yes, it does. So what do you like to see a man in? He, he needs to be in a wife beater? No, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> um, when I look at a guy, I look at their shoes first. It tells me if you have money or not. Ooh. So it's just like, that's like my to-go to thing. And I like to dress up and I'm a stylist, so I would want my man to look good too, so... Wow, I... I look at a man's shoe for a different reason. But that is good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so look at his shoe according to how he keeps his shoes. Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah. oh, interesting. Sandra? Mm -hmm. Yes, I like him to dress nice, uh, casual, smell gr great. Well, you don't like the sweatsuit look? I mean, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> it depends where we're going, but I want you to see, <laughs> you know, dress nice. Oh, Nadine, you like the, the pants hanging down on the butt? No. I mean, you're trying to hold on to your 20s, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like them to fill out their clothes. And from New York, you mm -hmm. got to dress good, so. Oh, you like the pants tight where you could see everything? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you could see it, but yeah, dress good. You're from New York. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice tight shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I see those arms. So, so divorce. 
can't keep a man and <laughs> looking for a man, right? <laughs> but technically, we all hoping a man find us, yes? yes. So I'm going to pose this question that to we the... we find them. We no, they, they, they're supposed they to find you. you know, they, they find you. They, they find you. Yes. But you do I have know... the power of choosing. You have power. Mm. That's right. No? Yeah. 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 So said all the single women in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. So since you're divorced, right, I pose this question to you first. Mm. Why do women tend to always, or men tend to see them as, you all as naggers? You all always nagging, 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 nagging. <laughs> well, I don't nag. Because you know what? If I said it once, I'll say it a second time, and that's it. Men are very selective. They have selective hearing. Yes. Yeah. So. That's yes, true. Yes. <laughs> selective. <laughs> sele selective. <laughs> Listen, you know, like, come on. Like, do what you have to do. If you did it the first time, I wouldn't have to repeat myself. Right? right. So, I mean, who's really creating the nagger here? Mm. Mm. Right? I mean, you know, it's like if the kid is crying. Oh, honey, the kid is crying. Oh, that's good. You, you heard that, right? You heard that. <laughs> you heard that. Right, but <laughs> <laughs> but you right. but you didn't hear when I told you to go and wash the dishes, right. right? You know, or like selective like selective smelling, right? Like if the kid took a poop, right? Oh, honey, the kid is poop. You know, like you gotta clean it. Oh, but you, he didn't you, hear you when you that. But you didn't smell the, the rice burning, right? right? Mm. You didn't smell Ooh. that. Right? And that's the same so, rice he gotta eat. So then, like, who's creating the nagger? Who's mm. creating the nagger, right? Yeah, girl, so, you have but a point. I don't nag. I just say it once, and if I say it a second time, it's with a look, mm. and then mm -hmm. that's it. Mel. I agree with her. So you, <laughs> would, men, would, would men call you a nagger? Do you tend to nag in the relationship? Um, I don't nag. Um, I feel like guys do have selective hearing. However, it's just like when you say something, they want to do it on their time. Not when you do, when you said it or like when you, you know, tell them to do something. So, so the baby's going to be pooped the whole day? <clears throat> so you heard it here first. Once Mel gets money, she don't really care about <laughs> anything else. <laughs> I'm not even going to go to Nadine because my show is about to end and she, I had to tell her to look me in the eye and that's too much work. So with that said, thank you ladies for coming You're on welcome. the show. I hope you all do find a man. Hopefully I find him first mm -hmm. so I can laugh at you all. <laughs> I just want to say a special thanks to our comedian Lawrence Covington. Mm. Mm. You single, bro? Okay. <laughs> but thank you to Sandra, Mel, and Nadine. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow on all social media platforms. You all got it. The old people got Facebook, the young people got Instagram, and everybody got YouTube. It's MSS Francois. Multi-talented and super sexy. Mm -hmm. As always, you can count on Miss Francois to always say exactly what you're thinking. Join us back here next time for another episode of Miss Francois Show. Yeah. Yeah.